direct mail has a unique place to play within um, a marketing mix or an investment mix. Um, and that is, it's the medium that consumers value the most and the one that can potentially create the most value for clients who are using it. There are channels that are very good at making an audience aware of you as an organization or of your product. And then there are channels which are very good at selling your product. The ones which are good at awareness tend to be uh, the mass broadcast media like radio or posters or television. And the media that are very good at actually closing the sale are things like direct mail, the telephone, and bits of the internet like search. And of those, mail is probably the one with which consumers have the closest relationship. Direct mail has a role within a media schedule for almost every business. The only time we wouldn't recommend considering it is where you have no idea who your audience is and where they're of relatively low value to you as a client. But if you know who your customers are, you can understand the value that they can create for you and you want to tell them that you value them and your relationship with them, then direct mail absolutely has a role on every schedule. All of the research that we've got and the results that we see from clients small to large is that consumers really appreciate you sending them a letter, a card, a package, a brochure. The average consumer gets about 500 emails a week. Yeah, so actually, Think of how we all think about them. Their yeah, emails are a real burden on your day. The average consumer gets about eight or nine letters or cards a week. And most of those are actually really welcomed into the home. You know, some 80% of them are opened. The average consumer opens about 30% of emails. Ask yourself this question. Yeah? Would you send your wife a birthday email or would you send her a birthday card? which is going to create the greatest value and lead to a better result for you as an individual. The most common things a consumer does as soon as they get a letter from you is either go to your website or go and search for you. So clearly you do need to think about that journey you've started with a letter, how can you continue that online? And what you can't do is say one thing in a letter and another thing in a website. But there's another very interesting thing that you need to think about uh, in terms of linking up your digital with your mail. Think about using digital to listen to what consumers are saying and then send them letters that ref either give them answers to the questions they're asking or um, provide them with a service that you can see that they need. The Obama 2012 campaign was really good at this. You know, they got a lot of fame for using social media to talk to potential voters. Actually, what they did was they used social media to listen to what potential voters needed, and then they used mail to communicate the messages with those voters and drive them either to vote or to donate. And really surprisingly, response rates to mail from 16 to 24 year olds be higher than any other group. So this isn't just for oldies, you can make this work for everybody.